Okay, I should be live right now. Um, greetings, class. <clears throat> greetings, class. Toucan Sam is back at it yet again with a part two, with a part two of the Project Doubt's Torch part two stream, as I promised, which. Of course, work and life have been keeping me busy, and I'm just gonna... <clears throat> I'm sorry, before I continue with this part two stream and go on with the July screenshots in the group, in the server, I want to brief you guys a little bit of what's gonna go down tonight and for tomorrow's stream. So in this part two stream, I'm gonna try to reach the months of July all the way to hopefully around October you know stop around the October period and if I didn't if I don't finish if I don't finish the, reading the screenshots by the time of say either 7 p.m. or 8 p.m. I'm just gonna say 8 p.m. or 9 p.m. because I have to work 6 in the morning tomorrow morning so after my shift tomorrow morning, I will be doing a third and final part of this topic for tomorrow's stream at 3 p.m. It will be the third and final chapter. So with that being said, I hope you all enjoy this second part of the doused, you know, Project Doused Torch. So with this being said, just grab some popcorn, grab some soda pops, and a lot of BC headache powder. And apologies if I pause every five seconds. It's just because I am very tired and work has been very a pain in the ass lately. So with that out of the way. <clears throat> oh, hello, Cosmic. Hello, Princess Avery. Hello, Blue X Hand Spear Productions. How's it going, guys? So as stated, we're gonna I'm gonna resume with July right here. And like I said earlier, I'm going to try to reach more screenshots as much as I can before I end the stream around 8 p.m. or 9 p.m. Because I have to be at work tomorrow morning. If that's the case, I will resume the rest of it tomorrow at 3 p.m. PST for the third and final stream. So let's just continue where we left off. So last stream, we stopped at this area here. So let's just continue on. So... <clears throat> Let me just grab something to drink real fast because my throat's gonna get dry. Uh, gotta love me a Pepsi. Uh, uh, uh. So on July 2nd, 2023, Marco has stated, Cosmic and the rest went after Diane, the Diane call. Which, I mean, I was, I, oh God. Call me Raven. Uh, okay, that's fine. That's fine, Raven. Okay. But, of course, Marco's running his mouth. That, pretty much, he's running his mouth. So, we're going to read the second part here, which is... Anyways, Marco says, Cosmic caught begging people to join. Yikes. Cosmic Time says, I want to call you idiot. I want to call you, idiot. Now get in call, please. I beg. Otherwise, I will transition from trans to CIS woman. Well, that's the thing, though, Marco. You didn't get the context of why Cosmic is saying this. And if Cosmic could correct me about this, but if I'm not mistaken, this was in a group chat that when somebody refused to get in call and Cosmic tried to get them in a call and they were being civil about it, but the individual in I'm not sure which individual was it, but they refused to get in call. Uh, hang on real quick, before I continue reading, hello Dino Pony, hello JJ Cinema, hello Blue X Hand Spirit, Sadler, and Salden, hello. I mean, I could be wrong about that. Margo doesn't know jokes. Yeah, I know. He doesn't remember jokes, Sultan. It's true. He doesn't. Oh, my God. Cosmic. Oh, my God. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to continue. <clears throat> July 2nd again. Marco, 7down made another video against me 
This time, my mom is now here, so I just look both in my house and outside of this guy place anything out of the ordinary. Oh my god, Marco, you're an idiot. Like, again, making assumptions without any evidence. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Like, dude, why do you take things seriously, Marco? Why do. Why do you and your little group, Marco, why do you, Shen Kim, and the rest of your group in this group chat take things seriously or take things out of context? Like, is that a thing that you all do? At least you know when cosmic... Yeah, that's true. That's true. Like, I, apparently, Result, and I don't think Marco and them know about that at all. I don't think they do. But anyways, I'm going to continue reading. Let's see. <clears throat> I'm going to open this in a browser because it is a little small to read. Just wait for it. You're... Give it... Oh, here we go. <clears throat> Marco says, at July 2nd again, Cosmic have said yet again, the C... Said another C word while begging people like Diane to join the call. Another slur. How? Okay. Marco. Marco, why... Why... Are you stupid, Marco? Marco, you stupid. I don't... That's not what Cosmic is saying. He... he she... She... she Cosmic is not saying a slur. Cosmic is saying, like, a CIS agent woman. A CIS agent. Like, are you that dumb? You're dumb. Class, like, this right... Marco right here is the definition of dumb. Again, we're talking to a person that sent pornography in a group chat in front of a minor and knew of the minor and tried to make an excuse saying, oh, well, the you know, saying a lot of stupid shit, but I digress. <clears throat> I digress. Anyways. <clears throat> Hello? Hello, Conic Productions? Anyways. <clears throat> Oh my god, another one of this. Uh, here we go. July 3rd, Marco says, Cosmic is doing a live stream as we speak. She's targeting me, Shen, Kim, Caroline, Kira, Diane, and etc. Okay. Okay. And? And? Cosmic has a right to call you, Caroline, and Shen Kim and Kira Diane out in her stream, Marco. She has that right. She's more than welcome to make a public stream, to make a public awareness of what people have done, whether they've done stupid shit, degenerate shit, or even criminal shit. Like, you're just upsetting spaghetti because Cosmic made a stream and videos about you and calling you out on your bullshit. Hmm. Exactly, like, that's a good point, Blue X. Like, what's your point, Marco? Cosmic is making a stream. So fucking what? Like, so fucking what? Like, my god. Anyways. Next screenshot. Uh, okay.
There you go. We had to pin a message real quick, but Fourth of July of last year, Coswick and her friends are responsible for taking down. No, Marco. No. The thing is, Marco, YouTube has taken down Shen Kim's channels on YouTube because Shen Kim violated YouTube's community guidelines. For example, showing people's docs information without their consent. Publicly saying, you know, saying a lot of stupid shit in his videos that violate YouTube's community guidelines. That being like showing, you know, revealing people's names, states, and sometimes their address or their place of work. So YouTube was like, yeah, no, you're terminated because that's a big fat no-no. And and I do know what Marco's on about because yes, we me I can't I can't vouch for everybody everybody, but I was laughing my ass off when Shen Kim's YouTube channels got fucking terminated because he violated YouTube's terms of services. It was fucking funny. It was fucking funny. Anyways. I don't deny me saying this to Shen Kim. It's like, how does it feel having your main channel gone? Which, I, that's a good question. How does it feel? And Pidgey's like, oof. So that's why he went to Rumble, which is true. That's why Shen Kim went to Rumble because YouTube terminated his channels because he violated YouTube's terms of services. And I did respond with a, ha ha, because it's funny. So no, Marco, don't make assumptions that Cosmic and any one of us are all responsible for taking down Shen Kim's YouTube channels. The thing is, Shen Kim is responsible for his channels getting taken down by YouTube. I'm not responsible. Cosmic's not responsible. Spanish Giovanni's not responsible. Florida Rio is not responsible. The only one responsible is Shen Kim. <clears throat> Next screenshot. <clears throat> Here we go. <clears throat> Marco says, Cosmic and her friends are mass reporting people's channels and they just admitted they have hackers on their side. This is a bad... Th oh, for God's sake. Let's read. Let's look at the screenshots of what Marco's on about that apparently we have hackers on our side. Let's see. Pigeon set made a gif of saying, good job, boys. On to the next one. Blocked message by Goku saying, can't wait to see how he lies. I said he's probably going to make a BS sob story, which is true. He is, Shen Kim has a TGC to make a sorry sob story. And Pitchin, mind you, Pitchin is a, is a minor. And he jokes around. And he's not fucking serious. Pitchin joked, our hackers are well paid. Pitchin was joking, Marco. Let me make something clear. We don't have hackers unlike Shen Kim who has a hacker in your group. That him and the hacker, as I mentioned in the previous stream, that him and his hacker committed criminal conspiracy. So I'm sorry. Don't twist the narrative around, Marco. Nah, we don't have hackers in our group. You do. You have that Russian hacker in your group. Man, Marco, you're so stupid. Anyways, next screenshot. <clears throat> yeah, that's a good question, Solden. Since when have we become hackers? And listen to Marco saying, Cosmic is possibly buying views on YouTube. Look at a rest video. Then look at the uh, one specific video of Cosmic buying views. Here's the thing, Marco. So, like, here's the thing, Marco. No, Cosmic is not buying people's videos. Because Cosmic, let me ask Cosmic in the chats because I hope she's in the chats. Cosmic, do you buy 
views on YouTube because apparently according to Marco here, you apparently buy views on YouTube. Like, that's fucking funny. I'm actually fucking laughing my ass off right now. <laughs> I'm fucking laughing my ass off. <clears throat> but here's the thing, like, what? Oh my god, Marco, you are so dumb, bruh. You are dumb. I buy views and... Oh my god, Cosmic, girl. Girl. Girl, please. <laughs> oh my god. Marco, you're pathetic. Anyways, uh, where was I? Oh, yes. Chrysalis Cheeselake says on July 4th, Since Alexandrius Milton, Cosmic, and his squad are always called Shen Kim as Kimbo, but here's the thing, Chrysalis, I'm the one that calls him Kimbo. I call him Kimbo. Don't assume that Cosmic called Shen Kim Kimbo. I'm the one that called him Kimbo. Toucan Sam is the one that mostly calls him Kimbo. Imagine what would happen if they accidentally say that to a North Korean dictator, Kim Jong-un, on Twitter since they always make racist statements, accusing Shen of being a son of, we never said any, we never said that Shen Kim of being the son of a dictator of North Korea. We never said that shit. So again, you're pointing words in our mouth and you're making assumptions again. Like that is so fucking stupid. A lot were just simply not true at all, simply because her last name, his last name is Kim, and just hate, no, it's not a hate crime. Shut the fuck up with that bullshit. Chrysalis, you don't even fucking know what the word hate crime means. Shut the fuck up. Like, shut the fuck up. Ugh. And of course, Chrysalis showed the screenshot of, Ken, you know, the dictator of Twitter saying, Got my first intercultural ballistic missile working. Where should I send my first nuke? United States, Japan. Oh, would you look at that? Cosmic and his squad homes. Like, you, Chrysalis, you realize, and I know that this is a forgery. Like, I think this is, like, this here is, like, this is edited. Chrysalis, you do realize that you could be arrested for that shit, right? If you live in the U.S., you could be fucking arrested for that crap. Because that's considered terrorism. That's That falls into terrorism. You fucking stupid idiot. You fucking idiot. Oh my god, this is so funny. Oh, class, this is getting funny. Anyways. Marco on July 4th says, We got even more proof of evidence that Cosmic and her friends have hackers on their side. Again, Pigeon is joking, Marco, you stupid idiot. Stop making assumptions. Like, what the fuck, Marco? You are so dumb. You and your group are fucking stupid. Already be doing that, so don't worry. But I'll try to help them as well. Anything that stops it from bullshitting. Again, Pigeon is a minor. And minors do stupid shit. So, is it not, like, what the fuck? Marco, you are so dumb. Chrysalis says, bust it. Like, oh my god, class. Oh, we're barely even, be we barely begun the stream. And already, Marco, and, like, Marco is being an idiot. Marco's being a stupid idiot. Again, Pigeon is not fucking serious, Marco. 
So why the fuck are you taking a child's joke seriously? Oh my god. Idiots. Anyways, Marco says on July 5th, Cosmic made a another video against Shang Kim. Cosmic said, My Stalker's main channel got yeeted, which... It's like, it was funny. It was funny that Shen Kim's channel got removed. It was fucking funny. Uh, let's have a look at this one. Oh my god, not another diss track about Cosmic. Okay. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna read it slow because I can't shout because my throat has been hurting all day, so I apologize if my throat's a little raspy. <clears throat> Yo, listen up, I got a story to tell about a cat named Alexandris Milton Man. He felt again, Chrysalis, good to know that you're a homophobic piece of shit. It's woman, not man. He fell like a cosmic, claimed Shen Kim was a stalker, which, newsflash, Shen Kim is a stalker. Shen Kim made over a hundred and something videos on Cosmic Alone, nearly a hundred something on me, and few others on Spanish Giovanni, Cos Spanish Giovanni, Go Get, and a couple on Flutter Rio. So, yes, Chrysalis, Shen Kim is a fucking cyber stalker. But let me drop some truth about the cyberbully talker. Oh my god, I am so sick and tired of hearing this term of, oh, people are mean to some pedophiles and degenerates, that makes you a cyberbully. Fucking cope. Cope, Chrysalis. Just fucking cope. About the cyberbully talker, always pointing figures that don't see his own wrongs, acting like a victim, but bullying all along. Shem Kim ain't perfect, but she won't admit defeat while Kosu plays the blame game, spewing deceit, and let's talk about this British fascist in the mix. Oh! Apparently, Kosu is a British fascist. Wow, like, wow. But, yeah, you know what? I don't want to read this, so, yeah, I'm gonna... Just gonna... I'm not gonna read this fully, but I'm gonna let you guys read it. And just let me know if you all seen, you know, if you all have already finished reading, just type the word X. Type the word X in the chat after you're done reading. Because this right here is just pathetic. That they're making a distract bullshit over people that make them upset. Like, it, this is sad. That's fine. Yeah, you're right. I'm just going to skip it. Okay, Cosmic, have a good night. And I and Cosmic hope you hope to see you on the on tomorrow's third and final part of the stream. Thank you. <clears throat> Anyways. <clears throat> Marco says Spanish Giovanni reported Shen Kim. Rebel Dragon on Twitter, which mm, and Shen Kim responded, and Al Alex slash Alicia too. I mean, Spanish Marco, here's the thing. Spanish Giovanni had the right to report that video because here's the thing. Shen Kim fucking docks Spanish Giovanni's fucking name and his former, you know, old workplace. That on YouTube. So Spanish Giovanni has the right to fucking report the video. I'm sorry. Oh, he didn't? My apologies. Wait, he didn't report it? Okay. But I'm just saying, like... <laughs> he did? Oh, yeah. Okay. Thank you for clarifying that, Avery. Sorry, but... But, Marco, like, why are you making assumptions again? Like, what the fuck? 
But here's the thing. I don't think Alex did that. No. Here's the thing, though. The point is, Shen Kim's YouTube channels got deleted because YouTube did a little digging and found out that what he's been doing was against YouTube's community guidelines. And yes, that's true. Blue, Blue X Hand Spear Productions did make a video about that situation. Anyways. Super Disney fan, if you want to know why I'm making a three-part stream, you might want to rewind the stream from the beginning to understand why. Anyways, I'm going to continue on. <clears throat> and that's true, Sullivan. Yes, Marco, has, Marco does that because he wants to find a reason to blame people. <clears throat> Marco said on July 5th, Cosmic reported Shang Kim 100%. Here's proof to prove it. Cosmic said, I was the only one who reported you. Talk about me more and more reports will flood your way. Here's the thing though. The reason why Cosmic reported Shang Kim was because Shang Kim doxed Cosmic. So, Shen so Cosmic had the right to fucking report that video. Marco, she has that right. <clears throat> Anyways. <clears throat> Marco said on July 5th, Cosmic supporters are accusing Shen Kim of murdering innocent people. Galactic referee says, Aw, our baby, our boy Shen Kim wants us to go to jail and says you'll pay for this like a school shooter wanna be over here. Ghost Prince said, I'll call him a school shooter, I don't give a fuck. Yes, the reason why Galactic and Ghost Prince said this was because Shen Kim was acting like a fucking man child. In, if I remember this correctly, this occurred in a group chat that he was acting like a fool. And he was being a man-child, Marco. Like, what the fuck? Like, I'm sorry. We're not accusing Shem Kim. Like, they're not accusing Shem Kim of murdering innocent people. They're saying that he's acting like one. He's acting like a man-child, school shooter wannabe. Because he was. Uh, what up? What up? What's going on? What's going on? Why are you saying yo? What the? F? What's going on in the chats? <clears throat> oh look, Blue X Hand Production is in this in the screenshots yet again. So Blue X, if you're seeing this, you're in the and a lol cow. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. It sounds like a Saturday morning, but I think you're right. Cry, Marco, cry. That's true. <clears throat> Shan Kim says, The cyber bullies are attacking me on my Emerald Blue Media channel. Enough is enough. Blue X and Spear Productions. Oh, look. Bl look, Blue X. You're, you're, you're a star again. Along with Christian Dragon. <clears throat> Blue X Productions says, That's what you get for doxing other content creators. So cry harder, Kimbo. Your tears are quite delicious. Christian Dragon says, I never did anything wrong. Yeah, okay, bud. So you totally never lead Rebels' personal information. Also, ignoring all evidence of Marco and Brandon being pedos. While also aiding Gregory and also a proven pedophile. Have fun and cry. Which, again, they're not wrong for pointing that out to you, Shen Kim. And Apple Blue Crusader says, cry harder. That same annoying childish word since 2022 again. Because here's the thing, Alba Blue Crusaders, the reason why we say cry harder was because whenever we deal with degenerates or morons that run their mouths and threaten us, etc., etc., that's our way of saying, oh, go ahead and cry harder. It's not going to make us lose any sleep. <clears throat> mm. <laughs> 
Uh, all right, but anyways, here we go. Next screenshot. <clears throat> <clears throat> Shen Kim yet again on July 6th. It's bad if I have to make a video like this. Don't believe any hate comments thrown at me on my video. Oh, this one was fucking funny. Yes, you did. You, like, this was this got me laughing because he was fucking running his mouth. And pausing every five seconds, too. It was fucking hilarious. Oh, boy. <sighs> Sorry, class. Here we go. Next screenshot. Shen Kim, July 6th. Look who just came by to threaten me on my blog channel, Firebird Official. Cosmic said 19 hours ago, at the time of July 5th of 2023, Oh my god, time to report this video too, since you're continuing to harass me and my people. If you kept yourself to... Checks notes yourself, you wouldn't be... Because here's the thing, Shan Kim. You keep on continuing to harass Cosmic, myself, and few other people. So I'm sorry. How is this of Cosmic saying, I'm going to report this video because, again, she has the right to report your videos if it shows any intention of harassment, cyber stalking, doxing, or any criminal form. She has that right. Shen Kim, so fucking cope. Cry and cope, you little bitch. Cry and cope. Next screenshot. <clears throat> oh my god. Sorry, class. Today at work has been very exhausting. Abba Blue Crusader says at July 6, Alexandris Milton, Milton Cosmic in a nutshell, thus by deleting Shen Kim's multiple YouTube channels, he accidentally deleted Shen's multiple warning videos to him about Islamic terror. Oh my fucking god. Where the fuck has Shen Kim said any warnings about Islamic terrorists and other bullshit? What they did simply backfired. Cosmic and his squad is just dooming themselves to their death. Abba Bloom, you are the most fucking idiotic person on the planet. I, first of all, I can't speak for Cosmic or anybody in my anybody I know. I'm not Islam. I'm Catholic. I'm a Catholic, not a Muslim. And they will kill him along with his squad without remorse. And not even hiding behind the screen could save him from a mere once killed Marco's friend in real life. What the fuck are you on about? What what the fuck? And they made this poor meme shit. Yeah, I know, Sultan. Like, what the fuck? Like, no, 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 Marco. Here's the thing, Apple Bloom. Shed Kim doesn't was not doing that shit. He was running his mouth, making inconsistent claims, bullshit lies, and derailing every five seconds. Where the fuck has he said anything about Islamic terrorism? I would love to see that. Anyways, next screenshot. James Bleep wishing death to Shan Kim. Mr. Twisted, hey, Sadler, blah, blah, blah. Sadler, Resident Evil saying him too. Mr. Twisted, yes. Desolic Gaming says, ooh, burn Shan Kim, burn. I think he was saying that, like, how is saying burn Shan Kim, burn wishing death, Marco? Like, seriously, Marco, how is saying, ooh, bird, Shank him, bird, how is that wishing death? Uh, uh, are you, are you fucking dumb? Are you high? Are you high? 
Oh my god. Oh, class, this is getting interesting. This part two stream is seriously getting interesting. Anyways. <clears throat> oh, look, I mentioned in this post, Marco says, you know, Ben, or my f first government name, made another stream against Shang Kim, re reaching to Shang Kim's recent, reacting to Shang Kim's recent video, which I know I made a typo on that. Like, wait a minute. Yes, that, that's true. I did do a little typo on the thumbnail, but, it, you know, reacting to Shen Kim, Yeah, I did stream about this. But here's the thing, like, I had the right to let my audience know, like, yeah, his channels got terminated because he violated YouTube's community guidelines. Like, the fuck? Marco, like, what else is new? <clears throat> I'm gonna do this one real quick. <sighs> oh my god. Abba Bloom Crusaders. Oh my god, that is not a sus profile name at all. What Alexander is cosmic and a cyberbullying squad did in a nutshell. They simply don't realize that they're accidentally deleting Shams multiple war video. Oh my god, not another Islamic terrorist bullshit. Thanks to their arrogance and ego with outright blinded them. Cosmic and a cyberbullying squad deleting Shad Kibbs YouTube channels. Accidentally deleting Shen's warnings about Amir Azar, an Islamic terrorist that wants to kill them. Oh my god. Have fun with that, Marco. Have fun with that. Have fun with that. Have fun with that. Oh, please, Marco, did, please record this. How does it feel that having my 2,000 followers seeing the group over 500 screenshots of the group chat that you're a part of, Marco? How does that feel? Like, how does that feel? And I'm not deleting my streams, bud. I, they ain't going anywhere. Part one and part two, and tomorrow... <laughs> And not to mention tomorrow's part three stream. Tomorrow is not going down. The three streams are not going down. <laughs> so good luck with that. <clears throat> Marco says, is this actually true? Did Pigeon legitimately got killed in a motorcycle accident? Pigeon says, Detective Pigeon has died this morning. No, you fucking idiot. It was a fucking joke. Marco, you are the most dumbest person on the face of the planet. Like, cope, Marco, cry. Raven for for downloading part one, but please be sure to download part two stream and be sure to download tomorrow's part three stream tomorrow at 3 p.m. But here's the thing, Marco, and, and I know you're here in the chat, but here's the thing, Marco. Pigeon was fucking joking. It's a fucking joke and a meme. Are you that fucking dumb? Like, what the hell? Oh my god. Like, you really are the dumbest person on the planet. Oh, appar oh, apparently according to Marco, most of these were at- Do you have evidence? Because they were- they were provided to us through an anonymous source. And they're not cropped. But I'm gonna let you run your little mouth. <clears throat> yeah, I do agree with Chronic. Evidence required, please. <clears throat> Anyways, I'm gonna continue reading. Mm. 
Give me one second, class. I need to grab water. Anyways. All right, I'm back with the water. Marco says on July 19th, Pitchett faked his own death and then started impersonating a lawyer. Two major red flags, by the way. Okay, what he said in the group, the screenshot shown is Pigeon Dipper cry. Pigeon says, I'm no longer his lawyer, so I don't advise him to not say that. Goga said, he has risen. Pigeon says, what? True. Like, here's the thing. Again, Marco, Pigeon never said he was a lawyer. Pigeon never said that. Like, are you really that dumb? <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, again, class, this is kind of funny. This is funny. Anyways. Oops. Marco says Pigeon even is spying slash stalking us while thus he admitted of faking his death. The screenshot that he showed was Pigeon saying, Dear Shen Kim, I know there's a rat in the server working for you. I love how everyone believed my bullshit and don't believe everything you see on the internet, Mr. Kim. I didn't even mention an article. No one even cares about me that much. Tell your best friend to stop being such a moron. Yes, I did fake my death because... Pidgey was fucking joking, Kim. And Marco, you once again... How is what Pidgey says here stalking and spying, Marco? And I would love to hear this. Where in anything that Pidgey has said here is like, I know there's a brand in the server working for you. I love how everyone believed my bullshit. Don't believe everything you see on the internet, Mr. Kim. I don't even mention an article. No one even cares about me that much. Tell your friend to stop being such a moron. Yes, I did. Fake my death. How is that him admitting that he was spying and stalking you, Marco? How? Thought so. I'm gonna. Yeah, sorry, Marco. You're on timeout because I'm not letting you derail this stream. Oh, and on. I did not mean to do that. I meant to put you on fucking timeout. For 30 minutes. There. Your time out for 30 minutes. Because, yeah, I don't want to deal with that. I want to focus on the screenshots. <clears throat> Anyways, <clears throat> Marco says on July 20th, Cosmic just lied about quitting drama. Also, LGBT CIA. Marco, you're an idiot. That's not doesn't even exist at all as it's looking like that Cosmic is trying to make fun of the LGBT no she isn't M Marco you fucking dense moron you dense fucking moron <laughs> oh my god oh my god anyways <clears throat> I'm gonna read the screenshot of the you know the screenshot of the group that Cosmic made called the LGBT CIA, which is just an agency name. 
It's not, it's not making fun of the LGBTQ plus community, Marco. You're a fucking idiot. You're a fucking idiot. I, oh my god. Class, this here is somebody that takes jokes too seriously and doesn't know which is a joke and which is serious. I mean, granted, we're talking about somebody that threatened to commit toast to bath with a blunt knife if somebody doesn't set a virus to cosmic, also posting pornography in front of a 17-year-old. <clears throat> cosmic posted during the, the 15th of July says, hey, uh, putting out an update, going to be moving, which is true. For those who have not seen this, Cosmic did state this, that she, yes, she has moved on from drama, Marco. She has. She's mostly focusing on gameplays, and, you know, if, if it comes to it, then yes, she will get involved in certain things if it needs to be. But she's not fully in drama, as you, like, oh my god. Ugh. And no, Blex, he doesn't know how to spell. Sorry, sorry, Raven. You, like, wait for 30 minutes and he'll come back on and you could have fun with him. I'm sorry, I'm trying to stay focused on the stream here. But as you all could read, this is just Cosmic saying that, you know, that they're going to do gamings. And gonna archive all the things that they have, you know, all the video, you know, drama related stuff, public awareness videos in her Cosmic Latte channel, which is the archive channel, which is understandable. But most of her main channel is focusing on gameplay, which is pretty good. So, how is that? How is this making fun of the LGBTQ, Marco? How? Yes, I know you want to bully Marco, Raven, I know. You'll get that chance in 30 minutes. Just wait. Just wait. Marco says on July 20th, so Pigeon is a drug addict. Yeah. What? 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 Oh, first of all, Marco, you fucking cropped the entire conversation. But the reason I find it very cute, Marco, that you and this group fucking crop this section, not showing the full comment, to make Pitchin look bad or people look bad, or say like, oh, they're saying this. Like, you really you're trying to defame Pitchin here, Marco. You're de you're defaming a child. You're defaming a child. You're defaming a character. You're, def you're doing a defamation of character to a child. Like you, you are scum. Like what the fuck? What the fuck? So apparently class, Pigeon is allegedly a drug addict. Mind you, Pigeon is a child. Like what the fuck? Uh, like again like Marco you take shit seriously the miner was joking and yes you took the screenshot out of context Marco that is fucking disgusting you took something out of context to make a child look bad you you oh my god uh Hashtag bird lives don't matter. Yikes. You're not wrong, Raven. You're not wrong. Yikes. Big yikes. Anyways. Uh. 
<clears throat> Marco says, Lucas McFall, aka one of Cosmic's friends, is now trying to dox Ali Foley. I blurred the country due to privacy reasons. Sam H showed type of person to live in, blurred. Well, give you hugs, steal your food, and give you so much praise, Aura. Or Aura? Star Platinum. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck? What, what, what the fuck? Docs Alley fully? Really? I, 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 I don't see that. I don't. Oh my God, Marco! Here, here's the thing. Duke Lukem is not one of Cosmic's friends. Like, wh what the fuck? Like, plus, Ben, Ben lives don't matter. Oh damn, damn that. Well, yeah, my, yeah, true. Two can Sam life don't matter. But back to track, back on track. Like, how is this doc scene? Like, I don't, I don't see it. Marco, I don't... S what the fuck? Like... Yeah, like, privately location, but not the name of said... Yeah, like, what's the name of the said person? Like, all I'm seeing is... This here is Star Platinum. Which, yeah, I know this is Ali, but here's the thing, like... Duke Lukem, like... Really? Duke Lukem is not Cosmic's friends. I can tell you for a fact, Marco... I'm not friends with Duke Lukum. Cosmic is not friends with Duke Lukum. So again, you're making assumptions again. Oh my god. Lord, give me strength. <clears throat> Marco says at uh, July 21st Lucas McFall calls oh Raven you're in the screenshot Avery a mom just proves that Lucas is working with Cosmic's friends in the screenshots in particular Sam H. Lucum says, okay, mom, skull emoji. By Twitter, by, you know, that says that you are blocked. That, that, Lucum blocked. Like, r r again, you're not showing the tweet that Lucum made, why Lucum said that shit, t like, what? And Duke Lucum says, my mom has the same one. Lukum says no father figure behavior on the internet kind of fell off to be honest found a new way to behave behave little bro like what the fuck what the fuck again it was a joke Marco like again Marco you taking jokes too seriously man what's with you man come on It was their screensaver was a j oh, okay. Oh, that was a joke. Yeah, the screenshot was a joke. And Shaq Kim said, acting like how Ellie did to some of her online friends. Oh my god. Why are they bringing up that mentally unwell minor into this? Anyways. <coughs> Next screenshot. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Marco says on July 21st, found another one of Lucas McFall's accounts. Lucas McFall accusing Ellie, who has autism, of having dyslexia, when in reality, Ellie doesn't even have dyslexia. Oh my god. Oh my god, why are they, like... Fucking hell. Look, let's read the screenshots that apparently that Duke Lukum says. 
Your past boyfriend's BC, I guess you're dyslexic. Lucas says, oh no, I meant exes. Lucas says it was on something else. Lucas says it wasn't about your art, idiot. And Lucas says, I'm not going on about your old art, brah. How, how is this accusing Ellie uh, who had like, uh, oh my God. Like, here's the thing, Marco. Why the fuck are you near a child? Like, if I'm, if, oh my God. In memory serves, during 2023, Ellie was a minor at the time if memory serves. She was still a minor. So why the fuck are you near a minor, Mr. Petto? Oh my god. I, I'm not... I'm not... I'm like, oh, what the fuck? How is it accusing when they said, guess you're dyslexic? How is that accusing? Like, oh my god. Class. Man, like, this is ridiculous. Anyways. Another set of screenshots. Hello, Virtual Gamer. Welcome to this... Welcome to the part two stream. <clears throat> Marco says, end quote, Lucas McFall admits of scaring people like me, Shed Kim, and etc. But first thing, Lucas said the R word. Lucas said by doing what I do. Lucas says, even if I have to scare sense into people. L Lucas says, no, all I want is smart people to stop being the R word because they're better than that. Which, he doesn't mean that in a, he doesn't mean it in a slur. He meant it in a, you're being an idiot. Like, you're being an idiot that doesn't use the brain that is given to you when it comes to morality and knowing right from wrong, Marco. That's not saying it in a slur term. It's saying stop being idiotic and stop being foolish. Oh my god. Oh look, Spanish Giovanni is 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 on this screenshot. Oh yes, I am super dizzy fan. I'm doing more than that. I'm gonna put some sleepy pills because I need my beauty sleep tonight because I have work in the morning. Marco says on July twenty third, David has a gun, a real shotgun. David only weapons is confirmed. That's not a real gun. That's not a real gun. That's not a real gun. How is this a real gun? Like, look at that. The chamber is not. Like, oh my god. <laughs> oh, Marco, you really are dense. You're dense. That's not a real gun. That's not a real gun. You know, you want to know how I can tell? Is the texture of the gun and the chamber that the bullet comes out of after the shot is fired is not real. That's not. Oh my God, Marco, you are the good. Everybody, give a nice clap to Marco being so dumb, being so fucking dumb. And yes, it, uh, that's true, Raven. It is a BB gun. It's a pelvic gun. It's not even real. Like, you, oh my god. And you can tell Deb giveaway that this is not a real gun. It ain't real. Like, my god. Like, you are so dumb, Marco. You just, like, assumed that Spanish Giovanni owned a weapon. No, he doesn't. Okay, Super Daisy Van, you're, you, you, it's a joke. Super Daisy Van, calm down. Oh, it, good to know. That's good to know, Raven. But the thing is, the screenshot shown, that, 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 that gun that he's holding in the photo was not a real gun, though. There's a significant difference of what's a real gun and what's a fake gun. And what we just saw a second ago was not a real gun. 
Like, God, Marco. Marco, you are so dumb. Uh. Uh, send you the screenshot of that? Sure, I could do that after the stream. Um, if you can, DM me on Discord. DM me on Discord, Raven, and I'll happily send you that screenshot once the part two stream is over. And I'll hit back to you after the stream anyways. Shen Kim said on July 24th, looks like the cyberbullies tried to throw a TikTok challenge at me after this short video. I made stalking my channel. Okay, I'm not seeing anything that is cyberbullying. Like, really? I'm not seeing that. <laughs> like, again, make an assumption, said Kim. Like, you really are unhinged. Anyways. Marco says on July 25th, All right, so someone last night hacked into my stream account. And today, just a few hours ago, someone tried to hack into my Twitter account. I'm thinking Ben and I mean Cosmic and her friends are behind this. Here's the thing, Cosmic and myself and few others that you know Flutter Reels, Fancy Bunny, and few others that I know we're not into hacking because I don't know what else it could be. Bear this in mind: my VPN is turned on the entire time when my Twitter was hacked. How the fuck is it even possible? Who has technology to do such? Marco, you are the biggest idiot. You're the biggest idiot. Because unlike... Here's the problem. If you, if you were allegedly hacked... And let me make this clear. Cosmic did not hack you, nor myself, or anyone I know. In my group, and in Cosmic's group, are in the hacking department. We never do that kind of shit. But here's the thing. When it comes to your VPN... You do not leave that open for the public because, yes, people who are skilled in the hacking department can do that. That's why you were hacked is because you were probably on something that has malware. And when it comes to malware, it will make someone hack into your account. So you probably were on something that you were not supposed to and it gave you a malware virus to make someone hack into your device. My God, like, and again, like, just because you got hat, that doesn't give you the right to assume that, oh, it was Cosmic and her friends doing it. No, Marco. No. I can tell you for a fact, Cosmic is not capable of hacking. I'm not capable of hacking. Flutter Reel's not capable of hacking. Raven and Spancy Fanny are not capable of hacking. And people that I know, people that we know in our groups are not capable of hacking. So let's just shut that down real quick. If you got hacked, that's your problem. That's your problem for not having proper safety equipment on your devices and not to mention not being on very shady websites that could compromise you. That's a given fact. Marco says on July 25th, Commando is being fat phobic towards Shen Kim and Commando is using the all word. Commando! Oh, Commando's here again in one of the screenshots. Commando said on July 24th, so he can't blame anyone than himself because he is, again, he's not saying it in a slur way because he's saying, Commando is saying that because he's fucking stupid, because Shen Kim is fucking stupid and not using his brain. And Commando said, is he, is he mentally retarded? Like, bro, you literally put your info out there in the public. You dug someone's info which was private. Shut the fuck up, you fat potato head. Because you literally have no friends besides from your own little unkv friends. You ain't no victim. You start... Which, again, Commando has the right to say that. Because, yes, Shen Kim, you did start all this. 
you dock somebody's info, which was private, and you literally put your own information out there for the public to see. So I'm sorry. Like, what the fuck? And for what Commando is saying, cry me a fucking river. Commando's not being fat pho fat phobic towards Shan Kim. He's just stating facts. Let's have a look. <clears throat> Marco says, about an hour ago, someone tried to enter my Gmail account, even though I changed all my passwords on all social media that I have. Also, even to prove that I do not have any suspicious apps, suspicious extensions, or malware's pictures of the scan. Nothing like legitimately, no malware's nothing. I don't know who's behind it, but I do need help on finding out who the hacker is. So we can stop the hacker. <coughs> Suspicious app detected. There's a picture of someone else. Someone might have accessed your Google account using a suspicious app. You've been signed out of this signed out on this device to protect your account. Which yes, Google has that system of doing that to protect someone's account in case if it gets compromised. And it shows Windows system product name device with okay. Okay, how is that? Yeah, somebody did. Tr okay. Okay, cry me a river. Somebody tried to hack you, big fucking whoop. Just get in touch with Google and they'll handle it. They'll be willing to handle it. That's why they did what they did of, the you know, signing you off your account to save your information. That's their protocol. So fucking cry. Fucking cry, Marco. Marco says on July 27th, Commando's red flag. Commando wishes Shen Kim to commit suicide. Commando says, kill yourself in a gif. Like, oh my god. Marco, Commando is not literally telling Shen Kim to kill himself. I'm told by my group to kill myself and they know they tell me it's a joke. We don't mean that. But they try to be careful not saying that shit all, like... Ugh. Marco, you are so fucking dumb. Like, class, Marco is so fucking dumb. <clears throat> and again, class, like I mentioned in the previous stream, we have over 550 screenshots to cover. Like, I'm gonna try to do some of the months. You know, I am already finishing up July's. Hopefully I'll reach September's before I end the stream soon, maybe an hour from now, but like what the fuck? We're seeing all the stupid shit that Marco, Shen Kim, Chrysalis, Cheese Legs, Apple Blue Crusaders, Joffrey Zabersky, a few other stupid people, stupid people in that group have been saying, have been doing, and how they're acting in this group chat. And all the other crimes they've committed to, i.e. with the Russian hacker and that, and Shad Kim committing criminal conspiracy early, as mentioned in previous stream. So, again, you take things way too seriously. <clears throat> Alright, class, we're now in August. So, yeah, we're in August now, so I'm going to stop at September's, which will be, yep, we're going to... Yep, we're going to do September's. I'm going to try to do September's. And then after that, I'll do a part three stream tomorrow after work. So let's continue. Yeah, it's true, Blue Axe. It's, it's a joke. Chill the fuck out. Here's the thing, Super Dizzy Van. Jabari Sabursky is part of this group. 
Javi Zimbursky is one of the members of this group, part of this group. In faith, you know, this Facebook group chat. <clears throat> Anyways. <clears throat> August 2nd, Pigeon is after me and Shen Kim. You know, showing a link of Pigeon's Twitter post, which, fucking cry me a river, Marco. Cry me a river. And Marco saying, Pigeon or Bacon, who owed seven down YouTube channel, are threatening me. They want to bomb my country. How the fuck are Pigeon and Bacon going to come to Serbia, Marco? How the fuck are they gonna come to Serbia? How? Like, are you dense? Are you dense? How are the two miners? How are the two miners gonna come to Serbia? How? And I think they have better shit to do than apparently, you know, allegedly want to bomb your country. They're, they're not dumb. Marco, come on now, Marco. Like, you're unhinged, bruh. You're fucking unhinged. Like, literally, you're unhinged. Real talk. You're unhinged. Anyways. Next screenshot. Shen Kim. Great. An idiot blew into town. Duke Lukum says, didn't ask. Oh, Shen Kim is very sour calling Duke Lukum an idiot blew into town. Ooh. Ooh, someone is very salty, class. <clears throat> oh, look. We're going to see this. Okay, here we go. Okay, nope. I do not appreciate you doxing somebody in my stream. Sorry, I am not appreciating that shit. Sorry, I do not appreciate doxing in my fucking stream. Sorry. And don't worry, I did screenshot that. <clears throat> Anyways, let me just continue reading the screenshots. <clears throat> Apple Bloom Crusaders, August 4th. I find out that this that these two idiots believe the lies which Cosmic Alex Hedris Mitten and his cyberbullying squad told them about Sawtooth Raves, which is simply not true at all. Okay, let's see what this is said. I also saw about Sawtooth Waves who dated someone. I think I've heard about the... Oh, the Sawtooth situation. <clears throat> Here's the thing, though. I remember the situation. Yes, Sawtooth Waves did prey on an underage child and dated an underage child. Like, how is that lying? Well, we, if I remember correctly about that situation, there was evidence about that situation. I'm not sure which one covered that mostly, but I know that there was evidence of Sawtooth Waves dating underage kids. Like, no. Nah. It is true, Apple Bloom Crusaders. Because if I remember the Sawtooth, the Sawtooth Wave situation, like... What the hell? Like, what the hell? Oh my god, I hope Cosmic... Like, what the... F <laughs> uh, and by the way, Marco... Congratulations, you actually committed a crime in my fucking stream. You committed a crime in my stream earlier, which I did took the liberty of screenshotting. <clears throat> Sh 
Shen Kim says on August 5th, Cyberbully still lies. The Pigeon says, watch my amazing video on Brandon and then try to talk shit about me for cyberbullying your ex-best friend. How is that cyberbullying when Pigeon was grilling you saying, try to talk shit about them for apparently being mean to your ex-best friend, Shen Kim? Because, yes, Shen Kim, you were buddy-buddy with Brandon a while back. <clears throat> Anyways, let me read this. Pigeon doesn't condone harassment, yet Pigeon himself is harassing Caroline, her BF Flame, and all her... And Ali and her friends on the video, yikes, he condones harassment. Okay, here's the thing, Marco. Pigeon was making fun of Caroline and Flame. No, oh my god. For those who remember the whole Caroline fuck the whole fucking Caroline situation, which, by the way, after this this part two stream and part three stream. I'm going to make an interesting video, which I'm not going to say why, but you'll find out soon. But let me continue on. Marco, you're not... I don't think you paid attention to the whole freaking freaking Caroline situation because here's the thing, Marco. Caroline let Ali, who was a minor at the time, in a server near you and few other degenerate pedophiles. And she sat there and let it happen and tried and pretended to be friends with you. But it's still fucking worse because she was associated with you and few other idiots. Marco, you are the biggest fucking idiot ever. And what, like, and it's good to know that you're defending Caroline. Good to know you're defending Caroline and flame, th you know, flame. Good to know. But here's the thing. Pigeon is making a disclaimer. Like, he's not doing any of that. <clears throat> and yes, and here's the thing. What Pigeon said in the video, if I remember what Pigeon said, it, like, oh my god. I don't think you paid attention to the video, Marco. That's the thing. You're not, you didn't pay attention to Pigeon's video. You didn't pay attention. Exactly. Blue X, that's a good question. How is adding a disclaimer make somebody a cyber bully and yet condoning harassment? How? How? Like, where's the logic in that bullshit? Oh, my God. Ugh. <laughs> Marco said on August 5th, Pigeon faked his death. Proof from him, and apparently it's illegal to fake a death. Pigeon could get arrested for... Oh my fucking God! Marco! It was a fucking joke! It was a fucking joke! Marco! It's a joke! He wasn't commi He was not committing a crime, you fucking idiot! Oh my god, you are so dumb and stupid, Marco. You really dumb and stupid, mate. Like, how, like, oh my god, Marco, you, once again, are making assumptions and allegations. Like, they're, like, like this doesn't prove that he apparently faked his death. 
Like, no, it was a fucking joke. He's a, like, the mind, like, Pigeon was making a fucking joke, you idiot. You're an idiot. And how would a minor, like, commit fraud? Like, why would, why, what, 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 oh my god. Why would a child fake their death? Like, why, Marco? Like, where's the logic in that? And I, I don't think you get the logic. <clears throat> Marco says on August 5th, Pigeon stole SMG4 character by the name of Fishy Pumpkins and even and didn't even credit SMG at all. Oh, the, oh I remember this up there. Oh, this was fucking funny. RIP Blubby 2022 to 2023. Beloved fit. Beloved fish. <laughs> that was fucking funny. <laughs> what do you mean bad? Like, oh. Like, Pitchin, like, how is Pitchin, like, how did Pitchin fake the death? Why? Like, how? Like, it was a joke. I, am I not, one for, like, how am I not, like, how is, oh my god, I want to die. Not literally, but why? Like, Marco, like, you don't use your brain, dude. You don't use your brain. Oh, look, I mentioned yet again in the screenshot class. Oh, my god. Goodness. Oh my goodness. I mentioned again in the screenshot. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> oh, here we go. Ian's mental breakdown two in a row. Yikes. Someone get this drunk hostile pr Here's the thing, Marco, and I think you need to fucking pay attention, Marco. When it come to when it came to the Lumen and Nexus situation, my rage was fucking justifiable because a stepfather preyed on his fucking stepdaughter. The rage was justifiable. I am not a drunk hostile prick. You're just mad and scared because you heard my pissed off voice. And you thinking I have a mental breakdown? Fuck off with that bullshit, Marco. It's called justifiable rage. Pure justifiable rage. And yes, Raven, that's true. Ben go re during the Lumina Nexus situation. Yeah, that was my big re moment. It was the biggest re moment in that stream. And as I mentioned before, I'll say again. Out of all the streams and videos and all of the degenerates I have dealt with, out of all the pedophiles I have confronted, I have never been beyond pissed off to a point that my blood pressure went through the roof and my voice raised up so high that I was fuming with rage, that you could hear the pure rage out of my voice, was the Lumina Nexus situation. Again, a justifiable cause of being angry, Marco. It's not a mental breakdown. It's called justifiable rage. And yes, don't you di and from what I'm seeing in the screenshot, you're trying to defend Lumina Nexus. So don't you dare try to defend like <clears throat> I find it convenient though that you yourself that's posted pornography in front of a 17-year-old would defend a pedophile that preyed on his stepdaughter. Good to know that a pedophile defends another pedophile. Good to know, Mr. Pedophile. Good to know. Good to know, Pet O'Brien. You're defending another pedophile. Good to know, class. Here in the screenshot, possibly so, is in my opinion, that he's trying to defend a pedophile, saying that I'm ha having a mental breakdown for being justifiably angry to a predator preying on his own daughter. And the pedophile right here is saying, yikes, this, like you're a drunk, hostile prick. Yes, I am a prick. Get the fuck over it, Marco. What else is new? I'm a prick. Get the fuck over it. <clears throat> Fucking cry me a river, you little bitch. Oh, oh, 
here we go. Here we go. Marco's saying this to moi. The fuck? I don't use excuses as like wishy death to people that can change. No, Marco, shut the fuck up on that. No, let me stop you right there. Don't fucking say that pedophiles can change. No, pedophiles like you and Lumina Nexus don't change. Because you guys are not putting the effort to change. Because if, here's the fact. If you are, if people, like, if predators really want to change, why are they still online? If you're changed the way you say you are, Marco, or if Lumina Nexus has changed, or any other pedophiles, like Joffrey Vesuburski, or any other predators, why are you all still online? Why are you all still on the internet? <clears throat> and here's the thing, Marco, I did not... I did not do a death threat. I made a point of my disdain and my hatred. Well, my hatred and disdain on Lumina Nexus. Let me make that very fucking clear. And I'm pretty sure Flutter Rio, because she was in that stream and she will tell everybody because she was there in stream, I never made a death threat. Because if that were the case, she would have been in my ass in the stream. And the people that I know, like Cosmic, Spanish Giovanni, Avery, and all my other groups that I'm a part of, would be in my ass saying, why the fuck did you place a death threat on your stream? I have not done so, Marco. So again, you made an assumption because, oh no, Toucan Sam is being angry to a pedophile, which is justifiable. Because you don't like that. Because you yourself are a pedophile. Given how you posted pornography to a 17 year old girl. Given the fact that you posted pornography to a 17 year old kid. And yes, as Blue X pointed out, birds of a feather should flock together. And you want to flock together with people like Lumina Nexus, Javi Saburski, and like you want to be in the. You, you guys want to defend each other. Good to know. Good to know that you are defending Lumina Nexus, a person that preyed on his stepdaughter. Good to fucking know, you piece of shit. Good to know, you piece of shit. Die in a ditch. And let me make this clear. I'm not wishing death threat upon you for saying die in a ditch. That's me saying I do not care about your fucking opinion. Your opinion doesn't matter. And now, like... <laughs> Uh, I'm going to resume class because I think my point is already made, but you get the gist. So let's not get, let's not hear that bullshit, Marco. <clears throat> and congrats, and I can understand why you don't want the stream to go on. I can understand why you don't want the stream to go on, Marco. I think I understand why. And you want to know how I know? I just know. I'm not going to say, but I know. Now I understand why you don't want this stream to go on. You stupid fuck. Exactly, Retro Gamer. Own up to your heinous actions. That's true. You should own up to it. And the fact that what you did in this screenshot, you're just proving to me, you've just proved that you are willing to defend a pedophile and trying to make it seem like I'm the bad guy wishing quote unquote death to a fucking piece of shit that preyed on his fucking daughter. Fuck you, Marco. Birds of a feather fucking flock together, you little bitch. Here's the thing, Alan. What Marco did, he was basically in the two previous screenshots, he was trying to defend Lumina Nexus and trying to make it seem like I'm the bad guy and that I'm unhinged and I quote unquote threatened, you know, posted a death threat to fucking Lumina Nexus. You know, trying to make Toucan Sam the bad guy. Marco said on August 12th, my life is now threatened by Cosmic's friend. He wants to go after me in real life. I need help with this. I don't know what I could do to stop these people. Ma Pigeon says, thinking of going on holiday, maybe Eastern, Eastern, Eastern Europe, like blah, 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 or something. Again, Pigeon being a minor is fucking joking, Marco. 
It was a joke. Marco, you you are so dumb. You're literally the dumbest person on the planet. Anyways. Marco said on August 13th, Pitchett made a video against both Brandon and Shen Kim. Again, Pitchett has the right to make a public awareness video on Shen Kim if it's valid. He has that, the, the child has that right. Marco says on August 13th, my response to Pitchin, aka the dr oh, he's calling a minor a drug addict. He's calling a little child a drug addict. Minor admitting to using drugs. Pitchin, I suggest you get the fuck off the internet with your mafia game related drug shit, because no one is going to deal with the mafia. What the fuck has mafia have anything to do with the shit? And again, the Pitchin was fucking joking. Yeah, I know. I, I you're, you're right, Blue X. What do I expect? It's Marco. He's an idiot. But again, like, what does the mafia have to do with Pigeon making fun of you? Like, what, 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 <coughs> what does the mafia have anything to do with this? Shen Kim says his parents will also be held accountable for this. Ha ha ha. Funny. Same thing could be said about your parents, Shen Kim. Funny, your parents, the same thing could be said about your parents being held accountable for your actions, of your cyber stalking behavior, your criminal conspiracy with the Russian hacker on Twitter, not to mention being associated with pedophiles in the group chat, that being Marco, Jarvis Zabersky, and a few other people in that group chat on Facebook. Like, your parents should be held accountable for that too. Because that's funny, the same could be said about your parents, Shen Kim. But no, like, class, this is funny right here of what Shen Kim said. His parents will also be held accountable for this. Buying drugs for minors is a... No. Again, first of all, Pigeon is joking. Learn the fucking joke, Kim. Like, unlike Marco, learn to take a joke. Second of all, the same thing could be said about your parents, Shen Kim, as I mentioned earlier. The same thing could be said about your parents, Kimbo. Same thing could be said about your parents. Being held accountable for your stupidity on the internet. <clears throat> Alright, we're almost getting to the September parts soon, so here we go. And yeah, like, this is straight up lol cow. Marco said... On August 13th, again, My Little Pony bullshit. Did Pidgeot just admit that he was an MOP hater? N here's the thing. Here's the, here's the thing, though. Pigeon doesn't like the MLP fandom. That I know. That I know for a fact he doesn't like. I know for a fact that Pigeon is not part of the Brony fandom. I know for a fact. <laughs> oh my god. Like, and again, Marco, I don't give a dick. Like, I'm not a brony. Like, I'm not a brony. So you're saying that I'm a MLP hater because I'm not a brony anymore? Really? Like, get the fuck out of here with that shit. Get the fuck out of here. <clears throat> Marco says so Pigeon is an African American oh my god <laughs> oh my god you take things too seriously Marco like you're a lol cow this is straight up low cow shit. Shan Kim said, 25 subscribers. I used to have 141 until they wipe it all out. 
Yeah, 141 subscribers, Shen Kim. Big fucking whoop. But here's the surprise. How'd you get that 141 subscribers out of your fucking other alternate accounts that keep subscribing to your channels left and right? Like, come on now, Kim. Let's not go there. Don't go there, bud. Anyways, Marco said on August 20th, Cosmic went to as far as fully block Crispy. Cosmic admits it in her video on her video. No, here's the thing, Marco. I don't think you paid attention to Cosmic's full-on video of the past events of 2022 to the present events of 2023. You're not paying attention to that. You didn't fully pay attention to the context of that situation. Now, granted, I wasn't fully aware of that full situation myself. I have to watch this video, you know, Cosmic's video again to get the full context. But from what I understood, that's not what happened. Shen Kim says, now a cyberbully picks a fight with someone who is also a cyberbully. That's new. Kim, shut the fuck up with the cyberbully bullshit. You're only calling people that call you out on bullshit, that state of facts and evidence, cyber bullies because, oh no, people mean to fucking pedophiles and mean to fucking degenerates and mean to fucking inconsistent liars and hypocrites and cowards. Cry me a fucking river. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. Another screenshot about yours truly. In regards of the debate stream between me and Space Divine, which I think that was a very decent, a very decent conversation. <clears throat> Cosmic is pretending to be me on Ben's stream, impersonating me. Really? Like you? Oh my God, Marco! Now you're basically accusing Cosmic of doing something which she never did. Like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me, Marco? Are you kidding me? I don't see Cosmic... And I do... And I, you know what? I'm going to look into that timestamp because I think I know where that is. That's near the closing of my stream. I'm going to look into that because I know for a fact Cosmic did not pretend to be you. Like, let's not do... Like, like oh my god. Again, make it assumptions, you lol cow. You are such a lol cow, Marco. Biggest lol cow on the planet. Anyways. <clears throat> Marco said on August 23rd, Cosmic encourages everyone to harass me and go after me. This is proof. No. No. No, Cosmic is not encouraging people to harass you. She's encouraging people to fucking report you and block you and to make a statement if there are any victims that you have potentially prayed, potentially threatened, or potentially victimized in general to come forward with evidence of the shit that you have done. So don't even fucking pull that shit saying that she encouraged people to harass you. No, she didn't. Shut the fuck up with that bullshit. Shut the fuck up. This is not proof. Where's the audio? Where, like, wh where? Oh, wait, there is none. Like, how is, and we're going to systematically bully a hero. No. That, 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 I don't think that's what she said, you dummy. Oh, thank you for refreshing my memory, Raven. Yes, Brandon was the one that showed up in that stream, and Space Giovanni told her to piss off. But I really love how Marco is trying to make Cosmic the bad guy. Like, that is really fucked up, Marco, you piece of shit. Because you have been having, you have a habit of trying to force people to give her a virus, and if they don't give her a virus, you would try to commit toast to bath. Like, you've been at her for a while now, you piece of shit. 
Like you're you're a scumbag. Anyways, <clears throat> Marco said on August 30th, go get made another video against Shen Kim. Oh my god. Yes, again, Gogan has the right to make a video if it's a valid reason. And I watched this video and it was a valid reason of why they made that video on Shen Kim, Marco. Oh my god. Anyways. Here's a screenshot of Marco saying, Go get accused Shen Kim of pedophilia without any sort of evidence. F Where? Hold on. Where the fuck did Gogan made that assumption? I, I remember watching this video. Gogan never said that. Gogan never said that. Gogan never accused Shen Kim of pedophilia. No, they didn't. And I'm pretty sure... I know pretty damn sure Goga did not do that. Like, oh my god. Once again, you're making allegations and you didn't fully pay attention to the full video. You just skipped because you don't like listening to the full on truth. Given how you are, Marco, you always do that. And always making assumptions on people. Marco says on August 30th, Ali is still going after Shen Kim. The YouTube community tab post that Alexandra made against Shen Kim. Mind Scream Art said, if Shen Kim sees this, yeah, but here's the thing. And I, I think I do agree with, here's the thing. If I remember this correctly, and correct me if I'm wrong to, correct me if I'm wrong. <clears throat> for those who know about this situation, but Shen Kim was making videos on Ali non-stop and it was very sus and very questionable because I do remember Shen Kim made a few videos on Ali and Ali had the right to say this at the time if Shen Kim sees this leave me alone I have therapy every week now leave me alone you need to stop bringing me into your bullcrap I haven't done anything to you leave me alone that stream wasn't on you at all it was at my ex-friend. I told him to keep me out of his rants. He took back what he said. Leave me alone. Because yes, Marco, Shen Kim went after a went after Ellie during the time of 2023. Because if my memories if memory serves, and again, for those who know about this situation, please correct me in the chats because Shen Kim was schizo posting videos about Ali non-stop. And it was not okay. Again, I if, if memory serves about that. Like, how is Ali going after Shen Kim when it's the other way around, Marco? Shen Kim was the one making videos on Ali. Because I specifically remember that. And I believe... <sighs> oh, okay, Alan says they do remember. Okay, good to know. You do remember that situation. Okay. Because I do know for that that happened. <clears throat> Anyways. Marco says... Seems like someone is now impersonating Christopher J. Patrick because that is not crispy at all. Crispy Hansen. Oh my god. Okay, whatever. And? Like, it's probably somebody making an archive video. Like, archive video. Like, an archive channel for archival purposes. I don't know. How is that impersonating Crispy? Like, oh my god. Oh, let's see this. Because now we're at September. Here we go. We're now going at September's now. Um, before I begin class, I do... I will be right back shortly, class. I just have to take a quick little commercial break.
I'll be right back shortly, class. Okay, class, I am back. So sorry about that. Had to take care of some, you know, had to take care of personal things at the moment. Now we're at the, the last screenshot of August, and now we're going to go to September's. In just a moment 
I'm thinking that I'm gonna try to do September's screenshots, and then after that, I will resume to October's tomorrow on the last stream tomorrow. So I'm gonna continue reading. Marco said on August 31st, Caroline Yoto. Yoto blocked Shen Kim. I assume Alexandra told Ka No, no, we have not told Caroline shit to block Shen Kim. Because during January, like early, the early month of January of 2023, which I believe Cosmic had explained this. Oh, sorry for the echo just a second ago. But here's the thing, class. During the whole Caroline situation was back in January. We didn't tell Caroline to block Shen Kim because we cut ties with her what we found out what she was doing. And it's funny, Marco, because you're buddy-buddy with Caroline during... You were buddy-buddy... Like, Caroline was pretending to be buddy-buddy with you during January 2023. And yet right here in the screenshot, I'm seeing that you're basically... Are basically trying to throw her under the bus, trying to say like she's still buddies with Cosmic to block Shen Kim? Really? And Caroline Sugar says, Caroline, Caroline Sugar Dawn, Caroline Sugar Dawn. I, I'm not sure if this is Caroline Cat, but I think it's somebody else, Caroline Yachty. I, I don't know. It could be Carol, the same Caroline for the whole Caroline situation, or somebody else. I, I don't know, my class. I'm sorry, but I am very frustrated right now. But let's see this conversation. Caroline or Sugar Dawn showed a video of Cosmic's video. This is said, send this to Ellie. And a very blurred screenshot that's not readable right here. That was shown by Lost Kids of his show. Okay. Anyways. <clears throat> oh sorry we are now on september's category i'm gonna stop here i'm actually gonna bookmark this because i am gonna do this tomorrow at 3 p.m pst just resume here right here is where i'm gonna resume tomorrow for uh, you know for October, but now we're gonna go to September screenshots. So let's go with September. <clears throat> All right, so Marco said on September 3rd, I found the exact place where Cosmic Alicia went from 2021 public info all here. Oxford Camp, oh wow. Oxford Cambridge and RSA. Crunch based company profile and funding. Really, I, I don't see, like I don't, what really? Really? Really, Marco? Like, that's good to know that you're showing that you're stalking Cosmic and you're, you're stalking her and trying to find out where she lives. Like, this is straight up stalking behavior class. Like, I'm really... No, no, no. no. Super Disney Van Virtual Gaming. No, I'm not ending the stream. I want to make this quite clear. I'm not ending the stream yet. I'm going to finish September screenshots from September and what... I've not finished. I will finish the rest of it tomorrow. But right now, I'm finishing September's, and then I will begin the closing of this second part stream. But we'll get to that later when it gets to that. But anyways, as I was saying, like Marco, this is I'm, I'm kind of finding it funny that you're you're stalking Cosmic here. Like that's pretty concerning. Like, what the fuck? Like, this is kind of stalking behavior, Marco. Like, you're literally stalking Cosmic, trying to figure out what, 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 like, where Cosmic went from 2021. Are you kidding me, Marco? This is straight up stalking behavior. Like, I hope I'm not the only one that sees this. Like, like, understand what I'm reading here and what I'm getting from this screenshot alone. This is straight up stalking, mate. Like, that's kind of creepy and fucking disgusting. And it makes you a piece of shit. <clears throat> Anyways.
Shen Kim said in quote, When a childhood friend listens to what the cyber bully said about me and thinks it's true, deletes all our content together and refuses to reply back to my test text. All things I did for him, including personal things he took that for granted, and now I'm about to drop Blades out. My first song and diss track went starting from scratch. Oh, I remember this. Like, I remember this. Somebody came forward. But in one of his, I do not know what specific videos of him, in Shad Kip's videos, but apparently this individual, Ben Wilson, was really friends, was friends with him and introduced him to YouTube. And Ben said, and wholeheartedly, this is, I'm going to read what was said because I remember how this went down. Let's read this. And tell me, like, this is something that, like, this is something like this, this right here, Shen, it shows you're a gaslighter. Like this is gaslighting a narcissist of what you of what I read a second ago, saying when a childhood friend listens to what the cyber bully said about me and thinks it's true, deletes all our content together, refuses to replay, to reply back to my test. All things I did for him, including personal things, he took it for granted, and now I'm about to drop blades out. Really, Shen Kim? Like that's. If that's not narcissistic and that's gaslight, I don't know what is. <clears throat> ben Wilson said, because I remember how this, this comment says, I, I was introduced to him to YouTube. Honestly, I think he should really leave. <clears throat> He's way too toxic on his own. I'm actually glad I stopped collaborating with him years ago and grew apart from him. I'm a little ashamed to... Because yes, this... From what Ben Wilson did state here is that yes, he used to be friends with Shen Kim and found out that he was toxic for his own on his own. And Ben Wilson actually having a moral compass, it immediately cut ties of a toxic individual years ago. And he and I hope that Ben Wilson, if you are watching the stream, man, I really hope. You recover, and I'm sorry that you had to deal with a toxic individual as Shen Kim. Like, I'm really sorry you had to deal with him. And this is what I, what Shen said. Ben, if you seriously think what these people are saying about me, you are out of your damn mind. You should know better. We know each other way longer than these bullies who got four of my YouTube channels deleted because they bullied me and wanted to hurt me harder by feel, feeding you love. <clears throat> feeding you lies. Talk to me in person. You know what? Kim. Kim. The ch Kim. The reason why your channels got deleted was again you violated YouTube's to you YouTube's community guidelines and terms of service. You publicly showed private information of Spanish Giovanni, Shen, uh, of Cosmic, myself in your channels. And you're the one that kept on schizo posting nonstop about Cosmic mostly. You schizo post about me, Goget, Flood of Rio, Spanish Giovanni, Avery, and a few other people. So I'm sorry, who are they going to believe? The people with the, more, with the moral compass and brains and show evidence to back up what they're saying is true? Or some unhinged man child that's still living with his mommy and daddy, barely got out of school... That makes this Facebook this Facebook group full of degenerate pedophiles, like a couple of degenerate pedophiles and idiots, and always being inconsistent and always makes lies, bullshit, never showing evidence to back up his case whatsoever, and criminally doxing people on a public domain, and also doing criminal conspiracy with a Russian hacker in said Facebook group chat that I mentioned in my previous stream. I'm sorry, Shen Kim. Who do you think that this individual is going to believe? You? I don't think so. I don't think so. <clears throat> and I'm ashamed to have helped to get, four to get four friends in real life. Try to get girls to date you. Gain popularity. Help you with your content as a feature. And this is how you pay me back? You deserve every bad thing that... Wow. Wow. Every bad thing going to come at you unless you apologize, Pop. Wow, Chan Kim. You, you really are a narcissist.
This is narcissism, and this is straight up gaslighting. You're a gaslighter. Not only are you a pedophile and neighbor of letting a, pe a predator, like Greg, you let a pedophile Gregory Hall in your server, letting him groom kids while you sat there in your server. Not only are you supporting and defending pedophiles like Hero Brian, Brandon, Joffrey Sabursky, and a few other idiots, but yet here you are in this comment, right here in this screenshot, you are gaslighting someone that used to be your friend. Wow. Shen Kim, you are a piece of shit. <clears throat> You're a piece of shit. You're a piece of shit. <clears throat> Fluttershy Luce Izuka says, Creep pedo strikes again. Joseph Kennedy Simmons. I... Uh, no, 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 not, not, no, 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 don't want to see that, <clears throat> anyways, next screenshot, oh, look, Blue X, you're on, you're on the screenshot again, yet again, man, you're, man, Blue X, you're getting famous, you're famous now, I'm surprised. <clears throat> Shan Kim says, the cyber boys are supporting Ellie. It's getting dangerous. Help me fight back. Turbo game and oh, also Turbo, you're here too. Jesus Christmas Christ, man. I'm not the one who got involved in this shit anymore considering that I'm literally living my best life now with Cope. But I'm jumping up to say, get a life man, and also quit doxing people, you, you, I cannot say this word. <clears throat> because it's true, Shen Kim. You don't touch grass, you don't have a job, you're sitting on your ass on your computer, schizo posting nonstop to co about Cosmic, about myself and few other people. And you're supporting and enabling pedophiles. And you also let a pedophile in your server and letting a pedophile prey on kids. Why you sat there and let it happen? <clears throat> Blue X says, Blue X 107 says, Jesus, man, you're doxy children now. You just hit a new, which is true, Shen. You did dox a kid. I did remember, you did dox, you, do, you did dox kids, which is pretty scummy of you to do. You're a piece of shit, Kim. And Cosmic saying, using the kid's full name again, Shen, when you claim that other people using your full name, which you made public, is doxing? Ha! I caramba! The, and that's true, Cosmic does make a point. You can't, you do contradict it yourself, saying that, oh, it's okay for you to use people's full names, but yet when people say your full name, you lose your shit. You lose your shit, Sen Kim. That is contradicting yourself. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> and yes, I think I remember this video that is being talked about, is that Shen Kim said a minor's name, and doxed said miner's name. Which is scummy behavior by putting a child at risk. Good to know, Shen Kim. You put a child at risk. My God, you're a piece of shit. Anyways, Marco said on September 10th, so there is currently an account that is actually stalking Shen Kim in real life, where he is in college. An account, an account that goes by the name of Rosie Maria, or better known as Yontai, is pretending to be Pitchin's sister when in reality, it's some Japanese person that is possibly going to college with Shen Kim. Everyone please investigate this account, which is, y and any particular info about her, oh my god. Really? Again, Marco, you're making assumptions and claiming that, oh, somebody is stalking Shen Kim. Like, who who would want to waste their time and ever to stalk Shen Kim? Who, in their right mind, would want to stalk Shen Kim? Like, why? Who cares?
Oh, here we go. Him bitching again because he he got a notification of Facebook saying we have a request of resetting your Facebook password. Oh, Marco, fucking cry that you delete you deal with hackers online. I make sure to change my password and turn on a two FA so they couldn't hack me. Right? Well, crybaby now being well. Cr that, how do you know it's crybaby? I don't see any screenshot proof that crybaby did it. I don't see no proof that Crybaby did this. You're not showing proof. So you're making assumptions again. <laughs> My god, Marco, fucking cope and stop fucking lying. Stop making assumptions and allegations without evidence. Like this right here of an email saying that somebody, like you, they have received you a, a request of a Facebook password. It doesn't prove nothing. It doesn't prove that Crybaby did hack your account. It doesn't say shit. Like, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Oh my god. <clears throat> Marco says, on the 15th of September, Shen Kim is in danger. Cosmic and her friends have called the cops on him. The cops are after Shen Kim in real life. This isn't a troll or trying to scare anyone anymore. This is now become a direct... No, 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 shut up. That's not what happened. Marco, if I remember, like, I remember this situation. That's not what happened. He made a claim saying that the cops came at him. And, oh my God, like... <sighs> Class, my brain is hurting right now with all this bullshit. Like, Marco, this is not, that's not what happened. The cops, like, Cosmic and everyone, like, even myself and nobody even called the cops on them. We didn't call the cops on Shen Kim. Shen Kim, like, oh my god, the cops came at his door. Like, the cops came at his door. And told him to knock the shit off that he was doing for what, according to Shen Kim, mind you, this is according to Shen Kim. And I remember this, and if memory serves, the cops told him to knock the shit off that he was doing, and that's from what I've been told. Again, take what I said with vice value, but if this is from what I'm understanding and remembering. But. <clears throat> I find this very funny that you're saying that Shen Kim is in danger. That apparently Cosmic and everybody else called. No, we didn't. And Shen Kim is not an innocent person. Like, let's throw that out the window right now, Marco. Cry me a fucking river. Like, cry me a river, boy. Oh my god. Uh. Caroline Yatone refuses to listen, and that Ellie was cyberbullying me out of the blue, even though I'm still defending her and minding my own. No, you weren't. Ellie was not cyberbullying you, Shen Kim. You were the one that was cyber stalking Ellie. You were schizo posting videos about her nonstop, and you're not. You didn't even defend Ellie. You were cyber stalking them. And you were not minding your own business. Shut the fuck up with that bullshit. No, you were not minding your own business. You were schizoposy nonstop. You keep on making inconsistent bullshit and spewing out lies with no evidence about what she's currently doing. It's on Allie and Caroline's phone. Like, really? <clears throat> and no, like, I'm going to read what Cosmic has said. Well, okay, blah, blah. Caroline says, I blocked you because I'm getting sick of the drama with you and them and of you constantly saying that they are cyberbullying you. You legit keep them added and do this. It needs to stop. Because, yeah, for once I fucking, like, I can't believe, like, okay, for what Caroline said, yeah, what you, you, if you want this to stop, stop at, keeping our names in your mouth. And don't worry, Caroline. Don't worry, I'm gonna make a video about you shortly, Caroline. Don't think that you're a saint in this. I'm gonna make a video about you shortly. 
Because they're like, again, you're all gonna find out what I mean by that, but let me continue on. <clears throat> Marco posted, for the police, since police are still investigating Cosmic and the rest, perhaps they'll love to see this as evidence where Cosmic is right now accusing me and Shen Kim of Mar Marco, that is a lie. That is a straight up lie. Where has Cosmic ever said, ever said that you and Shen Kim, uh, you and Shen Kim have ever committed murder? Where have, where has Cosmic ever said that? I know for a fact she's never said that. That is a load of crap. That is a load of crap. Holy cow. Holy cow. Straight up defamation right here. Like, holy cow. This class, like, look at this class. Tell me, like, tell me. Has Cosmic ever accused me and Shen Kim, like, Marco and Shen Kim of murder? Because, no, she didn't. So, again, you're making assumptions on people. <coughs> Marco? Because you're upset -y. Because Cosmic keeps putting you and Shen Kim in your fucking place. That's all that ma that's all that's all the reason you're upset. Is because Cosmic keeps putting you and Shen Kim in your place. Like, how is that murder? What? What? What the fuck? Oh my god. <clears throat> Here we go. Uh. Abba Bloom Crusader says, Sander bitch is forcing his toxic opinions on others in the Walt Disney Classics group and there are several toxic people defaming him like Sen Owens. And then there's this guy, Peter McGowan, who called out Sandra Burr for his terrible taste in movies and toxicity in the group, along with people who defend him in general. Uh, okay, what the fuck? Like, really? Uh, like, pe here's the thing, Apple Bloom. People have the right to speak their opinions on media. It doesn't matter if it's Disney, it doesn't matter if it's Star Wars or freaking MLP or freaking Sonic or any other genre. People have the right of their own opinions. Everyone has the right of their own opinions. Like, like see, like this, for example, for what Sandra said. Ugh, the new Spider-Verse movie is so overdated. Elemental is way back. Okay, th that's an RP. Like, I don't get why you would RP that, but it's basically an opinion why he does not like one movie but likes another. Like, I'm sorry. People have the right to speak their opinions on movies and genres. They have that right. They have that right. Like, it's okay for them to have have their opinions of what they like and don't like in movies like get the fuck over it and you're getting mad that it's toxic really oh my god you're 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 so childish Abba Bloom crusaders you're a child like you're acting like a child like grow the fuck up people are entitled to their opinions grow the fuck up fucking cope and if you don't like somebody's opinion just block and mute them Block and mute them! Pure and simple, block and mute them! <clears throat> Anyways, Apple Book Crusader says, one of, Ku one of Ku Klux Klan Smick's allies just made a cheesy childish comments on your video, Shen. Said, oh, I made a cameo. Also, Cosmic's pronouns are she and her. Shen Kim said he doesn't know the police are what Kim... How are the police, like, when, like, how are the police gonna waste their time and their efforts on watching videos on YouTube 
and looking at social media every day? Like, why? Like, oh. how are the police going to look at a YouTube video? How? Jen, how? That's how I, I, I that's how I want to know. How? That, that doesn't make any fucking sense at all. Oh, boy. Well, class, we're almost done. So, we're gonna... We're almost done, so... Shen Kim says, Checked out Alex slash Alicia supporter or YouTube channel. It's full of drug stuff. Looks like Thai cyber bullies are into drugs. And some of the cyber bullies are minors. Drug. Okay. Drugs like puppets. Drug pup. How is drug puppets any form of drugs or alcohol? Like. And Rapper Brooklyn says it's drug addict. How is drug puppets a drug? How? Cla every all my 16 viewers in chat, I want to ask you a question. How is drug puppets any form of drugs? And making it seem like, like Shan Kim, really? You're making assumptions on people. Like you always do. You always assume, you always make accusations. And you always make you always make false you like false claims on people. Like how is drug puppets making like how is oh my god it's full of drug stuff like looks like the cyber boys how is drug puppets drugs how where's the logic in that Jen Kim where is the fucking logic in that bullshit oh my god. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is funny. This is funny. You know what I'm saying? This is funny. You know what I'm saying? It's funny as fuck. This is funny as fuck. Like, brah. Brah. This is so dumb. <laughs> oh. Oh, Shen. Shen, Shen, Shen. <coughs> Shen Kim posted on September 21st, bet the cyber bullies are narcissistic as these two idiots are tit- No, Shen Kim, that's funny. The same could be said about you, about what you said in the previous screenshots of Ben Will- Of that Ben Wilson individual. The same could be said about you. The only one that's narcissistic is you, Shen Kim. You're the one that's being narcissistic. Like, I'm sorry, you're being narcissistic. Like, what the fuck? Oh my god. I bet the cyber bullies are. How? Like, oh my god. Where's the logic in this class? Where's the logic? Ugh, anyways. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right, <clears throat> Marco said on September 22nd, Cosmic is coming back for revenge. I bet the cops would want to see this. Oh, let's read these screenshots that Cosmic tweeted back at September 21st of 2023. I want to see where Marco made the assumption of coming back for revenge, apparently. Let's see. <clears throat> Cosmic Time says, giving up with the previous account and setting up a new main Discord account. I won't let them take me down, girls. The old account may be lost, but I certainly be coming. Here's the thing, though. Here, O'Brien. Here's the thing here, O'Brien, and I think you're twisting things around. And Cosmic did clarify this 
in that video of her bringing the events of 2022 and 2023, like showing all the timeline with her experiences with you, her old Discord account got banned because of you and other people reporting her Discord. And she's saying that she's making a new Discord account of not making it making it clear that you would not bring her down. The old account may be lost, but I'll certainly be coming back. Cosmic said in this next one, not coming back with Alpha Sapphire for a bit, but expect something next week at least. Yes, I'm coming back with an update video. Yes, bear with me. It's three in the morning. I suppose a return is inevitable. You little shits better be ready for a mother to roll out of her grave with some spicy game stuff. I don't know. We'll make an update video. Delete the stream when I can. Expect update next week. Weekend is a busy... Yeah, and Cosmic did make that video. She made that video. And how is that back for revenge? How is her making a video explaining what happened... And explaining that she's making a new Discord account because her old Discord account got banned because of you and other degenerates. How is that revenge? And Apple Balloon Crusaders says, to Clad Smick, you should go to. J oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. You are so dumb. Like, Marco, Jen Kim. Apple Crusaders and everybody in that group chat on Facebook, you're all stupid. You're all fucking stupid. And it's good to know that everybody now sees the stupid shit you've been saying and the stupid shit you've been doing in this group chat. <clears throat> Last September screenshot class. Here we go. Marco, for the PH Police Department, says Cosmic is still trying to go after Shen Kim. Cosmic says, Kim, I can literally find your town from your vlogs and public Facebook profile. You literally dox me and have my dogs. No, how? Marco, Marco, how is Cosmic telling Shen Kim to delete the video that has her dog's information? How is that going after Shen Kim of her telling him, hey, you just committed, like, hey, you you should not be posting my information. You need to delete that because what Kim did on his YouTube channel was a crime. Like, how, like. <laughs> oh, my God. Hmm. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. What the fuck? What the fuck? Apple Boom Crusader says, To Cosmic Prison. Apple Boom Crusader says, Liar, liar, pants up. Oh my god. Shut up. <laughs> oh, this is so pathetic. It's pathetic. <clears throat> well class unfortunately that's all I could do for the night but tomorrow at 3 p.m. PST I will be resuming October you know I will be starting tomorrow's stream with October and finishing it up tomorrow for the third and final part of the stream so I have this to say to Shen Kim, Marco, and Apple Boom Crusaders, and that Chrysalis Cheese Legs, and a few other people in that group chat. You can go ahead and rant and scream all you want, but I'm letting you know these streams are not going to be removed. These streams, both one, two, and the third stream that's going to happen tomorrow at 3 p.m., mind you, they're not going to be taken down. They're going to stay on my channel because the, my audience will want to see, my audience needs to see all the stupid shit that you have done in this group chat and the shit that you have pulled. Like, it is so fucking idiotic. 
and it's so disgusting, and it's vile. Anyways, <clears throat> I want to thank everybody for coming into the part two stream. And again, I will be posting the third and final stream of the <clears throat> of the Project Dow's Torch part three and you know part three stream tomorrow at three p.m. PST. So I hope to see you all there at three p.m. I want to give a special thanks to my Patreon supporter NASCAR Man One Hundred One for their ongoing support. If you wish to support what I do, even for as little as five dollars, the link of my Patreon page can be found in the description. <clears throat> Be sure to follow me on all my social medias. Again, the, the link is in the description. If you wish to watch the first part of the stream for context, the link of part one can be found in the description. Please share the part one stream as well as the second stream around in all your social medias. Like This needs to be spread around. So I want to give a big shout out to all my supporters. And Shen Kim, Marco, and everyone in that group chat, get fucked. See you all in part three tomorrow at 3 p.m.